I've got some bad news for you. What's the matter, George? We're going to have to terminate your contract in the SEAL recovery program. Why? No funds. What else? Well, that's a shame. It's a great program. They head outside. We also don't have funds for that new bloodline from Japan. I guess there's no money for the exotic birds you talked about then. Donna shakes her head. We could sure use some color around here. Well, there's a lot of things we could use around here, but the funds are just not available. There must be something you can do. <laughs> do you have any suggestions? Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to escort the kids' bathtub race entry on its trial run. Bathtub race? It's an annual event. Over 100 bathtubs with outboard motors race from Nanaimo to Vancouver. Some of the bathtubs are pretty sophisticated, mind you. 36 miles across the strait. In a bathtub? People come from as far away as Australia just to be in it. When does this event take place? Oh, in a couple of weeks. It's the end of the summer sea festival. Are there any cash prizes? No, just a lot of hard-won and highly prized trophies. What about publicity? Well, it gets world coverage. Well, now that sounds like something a corporate sponsor would love. That's a good idea. We could get a sponsor to back our entry. Our entry? We don't have an entry. The kids. I could get a sponsor to make a publicity donation to the aquarium if the kids are one of the winners. Great way to raise money for that exotic bird. I think the Japanese bloodline has a much higher priority. But George, don't you think we should wait to see if the kids are willing to go along with this scheme? Oh, Grant, we know you can talk them into it. But... Come on, Donna, we've got a sponsor to find. But you know kids. Tell them it's for the aquarium. Dunbar oh. checks his watch and walks away. Grant is left standing there incredulous at the Robert's kitchen table. If he wants more life in the otter pool, why doesn't he take danger for a few days? And why can't they find some exotic bird from around here? Well, people don't go to the aquarium to see something they can see in their own backyard. We'd like to help you, Dad, but... But what? We're only entering the tub for fun. For fun? No way. I'm going after the World Cup. Who said you're going to be piloting it anyways? Well, I'm the natural choice. Why? Because you're a boy? No, because I have more experience with boats than you do. Listen, it was my idea to build the tub, Jonah. Hey, uh, isn't there anything at the aquarium that you two would like to see upgraded? I know it's an imposition, but I'm kind of on the spot. How about the Harbor Seal program? Donna was saying that the aquarium couldn't afford it anymore? That's right. The last budget cut axed that program. Okay. We'll donate the tub to sponsor the rescue program. Okay with you? Sure. And I know just the sponsor. Thanks. Well, that settles that. Grant gets up to clear his plate. It doesn't settle who's going to pilot the tub in the race. Nicole joins him. Well, I think the rules settle that. As Nicole offers her plate to their pet otter danger, Grant hands her a pamphlet. Section F. Rule 8. Danger gets Grant's leftovers, too. All tub drivers must have reached the age of 14 years by the day of the race. Oh, no. I just found that the other day. Have some sympathy for me, Danger. My brother won again. I know I should have mentioned this to you before this, but uh, it's a man's world. But women rule it. <laughs> he kisses her on the forehead. You do around here, anyway. <laughs> a seal sits in a red wagon. Grant picks it up. How are you doing, little guy, huh? Dunbar walks over, smiling. I found a sponsor for Jonah and Nicole. The buy and sell has agreed to back our tub and pay for the new shipping of that bloodline from Japan if our tub is one of the winners. I think the kids have other ideas. Do they have a sponsor yet? No, but they're working on it. Dunbar looks up. JL and Donna approach. Guess what? You found a sponsor for Jonah and Nicole. How did you know that? Men know these things. Well, anyway, a friend of mine who owns a hotel said if we win, she'll buy us a Scarlet Ibis. Well, I think we'd better check with the kids first before we make any decisions. We found the sponsor. So did I. They went for it. Jonah and Nicole walk up. They'll give us $500 for the feeding and the care of the seals if we win. Well, Donna, what are we going to do with three sponsors? Why don't we enter three tubs? Terrific idea. Super. Great. Who's going to pilot the other two tubs? You're the more mechanically inclined. It would be an honor to represent the women. 
I'm afraid I'm also going to have to concede to the more superior boatsman, uh, boat person. He smiles at Grant, who stares back soberly. Dunbar raises his eyebrows questioningly. Grant thinks about it. 36 miles across that strait? In a bathtub? No way. Come on, Dad. Go for it. Think of the aquarium. Think of the glory. If you win. Grant lets a smile play across his face. At the Roberts house, Grant works on his tub as JL comes over. Grant? She skips down the gangway to join him on the dock. Hi. I need to talk to you. He stands. Well, uh, I got a lot of work to do. I'm trying to do a tune-up on my engine. Grant, this is important to me. Okay. What is it? You really want to win this race tomorrow, don't you? <laughs> well, nobody enters a race to lose. Mm -hmm. And you're still bothered about me beating you in the practice run. Of course not. Sure you are. And it's because I'm a woman, isn't it? Yes, it is. Crap. She puts her hand on his arm. I like you. And whether I win or lose tomorrow, I'm not going to let that change the way I feel about you. Good, and I won't let it change the way I feel about you either. He pulls her to him, and they kiss passionately. Devastating green eyes I've ever seen. And it's not the race that's bothering me. It's you. You've been bothering me since the first day we met. Well, I, uh, I still got a lot of work to do. So you mentioned. They lean towards each other. Saved by the bell. They have impeccable timing. You want to stay for dinner? JL's smile fades. She withdraws slightly. I better not. She walks away. Jackie. She turns back. She walks back up the gangway. The next day... In case you've just joined us, this is Don Abbott in the CKWW Sports Chopper bringing you live coverage of the 19th Annual Great International Bathtub Race. And I'm glad to say that with me today is Barb Peters, herself a three-time winner of this race. Thank you, Don. Newcastle Channel, look at the fans. There are thousands of them there today really? for the race. Uh, we've never had a crowd like this, John. It is incredible, and the weather is absolutely perfect. Well, Barb, CKWW Active Weather promises temperatures in the low 80s with moderate winds from the northwest. That's our only problem. I'm going to keep an eye on those waves because choppy water is the biggest threat to today's covers. Grant picks up a helmet and walks over to Dunbar, who is waiting with his boat. I don't know how I got into this, George. You're the best man for the job, Grant. Grant secures his helmet and gets into his tub. Nearby, Donna hands JL her helmet. Wish us luck. Here you go. <laughs> and Jonah gets set in his tub. But I'm glad to be here because the perspective from this helicopter is absolutely fantastic. Well, the jumpers are checking last-minute details. This race will take them the 36 miles from the Nymo to Vancouver. And Barb, as you know, when this race started 19 years ago, these boats really were just old tubs with eight horsepower engines. Time sure have changed. Why well, they sure have. You know, today's tubs are streamlined beauties that can hit speeds equivalent to 35 miles an hour. Whoa, you really gotta hold on then. Well, you sure have to, because this race has become perilous and a fast-paced challenge. And today's drivers need a lot of skill and, and courage to handle the high speeds of this swift international competition. Well, here they come. We're just waiting for that starting bell. And there it is, they're off. The 19th Annual Great International Bathtub Race is underway. It is a great start to the race. Some of these daredevils, look at them. They are already trying to break away from the pack. We're looking at reigning champion Paul White of Pete's Plumbing off to a blistering start. These tubbers...
Troopers are setting a furious pace right from the beginning. Don, in all of my years of racing, I have never seen such an aggressive start by so many competitors. This is the CKW W Sports Chopper, and those waves, Barb, are they building? You know, I gotta tell you something about these waves. If you don't hit these things right, you're gonna get bounced all over the place, and you're gonna end up racing a 40-mile course instead of 36. Well, everyone seems to be on course so far. We can see last year's winner, Paul White, and there's Horst Metzger of West Germany. Look at the foam. I mean, they're just turning this ocean into foam. And, hey, look at this, Barb. Three newcomers breaking away from the pack and threatening the leaders. This is a very bold move, Don, especially so considering their inexperience. Yes, buy and sell number 237, driven by rookie tougher Grant Roberts. He's passing everything in sight. That's daring. You know, we may have an upset in the making here, Don, especially if these gutsy rookies can keep pressuring the veterans Let and maintain their challenge. Oh, they're Mike overtaking Stewart most of the others. Paul White and now Grant Roberts is about to claim the number three position for Tub 056. Roberts appears to be in excellent control of this tub. He's showing a lot of poise out there. You know, from what he's showing us today, you would think that this is his tenth race and not his and first. And here goes Roberts, yeah. passing yeah. 056 for third place. One of the few women in this race today is Tina Wallace. She's in tub number 36. She, there she is. She's chasing Dr. Roberts in that buy and sell 237. So they're really moving out there. And Barb, we've got another Roberts in this race. The youngest racer, in fact, Jonah Roberts. There seems to be a private race going on between Jonah Roberts and 024 and Jackie Duval in the Coast Bastion tub. Jonah Roberts is edging out in front, taking a lead over rival Jackie Duval. He's really moving. Oh, I, you know, I think he's airborne. Look at that. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.